Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today at uh, Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me is Allie. Hello. And today we have another Snow Globe repair video for you. And uh, today is, uh, this is another one of Allie's favorite things. <laughs> she, has, uh, she has several favorites. This is one of them. This is a lighthouse. Uh, and this, uh, this lighthouse here, it says, uh, it has a uh, simple uh, wooden base to it. Uh, nothing fancy, but uh, we like those wooden bases. Mm -hmm. they, they look nice. Yeah. And uh, this is just stained, it's not painted. And then uh, inside the globe, we have a uh, lighthouse that is uh, attached to, I guess, uh, looks probably the main living quarters for whoever runs the lighthouse there. And there's the back of it. So, um, simple. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice lighthouse uh, scene. Uh, you might be able to see that the uh, the figurine is lifting up off of the uh, off of the stopper there. Uh, this is the same issue that we had with the uh, lady sleeping in a flower uh, snow globe. Same type of uh, stopper, same type of setup here. It's doing the same exact thing. So we already know what to do to fix that. Mm -hmm. uh, yellow water big air bubble and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just clean all that out and get some fresh stuff in there and uh this thing has a uh, has a lot of snow in it look at mm. that we're gonna go ahead and recover all that snow because it looks like it's in good shape uh, and reuse that all right so let's go ahead and get this fixed up all right let's do it all right uh, since this is a solid base globe uh we either can use the hair dryer or hot water to remove the globe but being that this is a wooden base we're going to try the hair dryer and see if we can get this loose before we try hot water, just in case we don't want to, since it's a wooden base, we don't want to do any damage to it. So we're going to go ahead and use this new little rotating technique here. We <laughs> see if we can get this thing evenly heated up. Uh, so something new for us. Let's give it a shot. All right, All right. go give it some heat. <laughs> All right, we have been applying heat to this with the hair dryer for quite some time now and it's not budging so we're assuming it's uh hot glue and we're just not getting uh, enough heat to the glue because of the type of material that the base is made out of so we're going to resort to the hot water and see how this uh how this base fares then and uh, hopefully it works out so let's see all right we've got some hot water here we're going to fill this up so that the hot water makes it to the top of the base but don't want to get the globe in the water let's see here right right there right there okay so we'll see how this works out all right it has been five minutes let's see what happens here okay and anything oh it's moving oh it's, it's moving oh, oh there we go all ah, right it worked oh look oh it's got another collar in it there does. yeah all right so let's get this hot water okay. away hair dryer was having trouble getting enough heat past the wood pretty thick. to the uh, uh, to the glue here. Uh, wood's not a very good conductor of heat to begin with, but uh, I guess being uh, submerged in the hot water, uh, it didn't uh, eh. it didn't ruin the, the base. So once this dries, we should be fine. Yeah, and All if right. anything, we can always stain it if we didn't if if we didn't like the outcome of anything. Yeah, but it look it, it's it's still in one piece. Yeah. It looks fine. Uh, we'll let it dry and it should be fine. And then we'll we got the get this, uh, yeah. glue off. All right, so let's go ahead and set up here and we'll start working on this. Okay, let's do this. All right, so I had mentioned uh, a little while ago that uh, this reminded me of the uh, lady sleeping in a flower uh, snow globe that repaired recently. Uh, it's the same type of stopper, That's same true. type of of uh, figurine base, and of course it's the same collar here they uh they installed oh. this collar here to uh seal the globe now in that other globe it worked perfectly this one though this one still lost water even yeah. though they had this here they had some glue on it and this is supposed to press the uh the uh, stopper against the glass uh apparently it uh, didn't do as good of a job as they'd hoped but we'll go ahead and put that back on probably
this piece right here fits in here like this and then when you tighten it down it causes the two pieces to uh to spread apart and then uh presses up against the uh the stopper you know what i may or may we may or may not use this come yeah, to think of it. Sometimes it, that it, can it, be... it it didn't really help in this no, case it really didn't. so uh we may or may not use it all right so let's go ahead and get this figurine out of here But you know what did help? What? Ten tablespoons of glue. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's going to be the new thing. I get it. It is. And if no, if you haven't seen the previous video, then uh, you don't know what we're talking about, but you'll see. Ten tablespoons of glue. There we go. All right. There is the figurine. Yep. Thank you. Oh, now um, we're going to recover that snow, which means that... Uh, I don't want to lose any of the snow in here, so hold on to this. We're going to go ahead and get that snow into something, pour this out, and we're going to recover that snow. We were All right, so now we're going to recover the snow, and for uh, anyone who hasn't seen uh, in the past, uh, you can use a, a strainer if it's a very fine strainer because uh, depending on the snow or the glitter, it could go right through the strainer. So for us, uh, this is what works best for us to recover the snow or glitter if you wanted to recover it, but we just poured everything into this uh, uh, me big measuring cup here and waited for the snow to settle to the bottom. Now we're gonna pour the water out and stop just short of any of the snow falling, coming, uh, pouring out with the water right there. And now we're gonna pour some more clean water in here. We'll let that snow settle and we might pour this out one more time or two until we get clean water and clean snow. And then we'll be okay, done. this is clean and dry now. And uh, as with the other stopper that we mentioned from the uh, lady sleeping in the flower, uh, this is doing the same thing. Not quite as bad as that one was, but uh, this stopper is attached just the way it was supposed to be in the middle of the figurine. But the problem is the, uh, the stopper has uh, warped slightly. It's not flat anymore. It should be like this, but it's not. So. We're going to go ahead and put four drops of Zappa Gap in the uh, stopper here to hold put it that down. Zappa Gap. We're going to put Zappa Gap on there. Yes, that's right. Uh, so four drops should hold it down. We'll just put on these four ribs that are in this uh, in this thing here. So let me see here. Uh, let's see if I can get one drop only, if it's possible. There we go. One, and then one drop there, and then. One there. Wow. And then one there. There. There we go. One drop exactly. All right. Doesn't happen very often. Okay. No, it does not. So we're going to hold that down and uh, let that glue. Got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Hold that down. We're going to hold that down for about a minute or so. Let that glue. All right. The glue is set. And that uh, stopper is flat. Everything's yep. flat. It looks much better now because it's, it it's, it's nice and settled now. It's not floating over the yeah. the stopper anymore. So um, next step is to uh, get this globe ready. All right. So uh, as some of you may know, we are going to be using extra glue this, these yes. days. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, water in here mm -hmm. because... Ali discovered that 10, ten, ten tablespoons. Ten tablespoons. Let ten, me hear it for the ten. <laughs> ten tablespoons of clear glue in these four inch globes yeah. is what works for her. So. Yes, it does. So that's what we're doing from now on. So bear with us. We're going to uh, get through this as quickly as possible. Ten tablespoons of glue. Here we go. Ten tablespoons. All right. That is approximately ten tablespoons of glue. Oh, or, we're down to uh, <laughs> I've done to halfway down the bottle here. Okay, so let me seal this up so it doesn't dry up on us. All right, so that is uh, that is quite a bit of glue. You can it see that layer. You can see glue. that layer of glue down at the bottom there. It's gonna make so. a difference. All right, so okay, we're gonna stir that up until it uh, it's gonna be cloudy, and then it's gonna go clear, and then uh, then we're ready to move on once it clears up and it's all dissolved. There we go. All right, so Allie, hold that, please. Sure, sure, sure. 
First thing we're going to do is get the recovered snow back in there. Let me see how much I can get in there on the first try. Whoa, I thought that was going over. <laughs> nope, nope. All right, so now I'm going to put some more water in here and give it another try. See if I can get the rest of the snow in there. There we go. And got it. Okay, so. So we've got the uh, recovered snow. We've got 10 tablespoons of glue, water. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go ahead and top this off just a little bit more here. It's going to spit at you. It might. It might. I'll take the chance here. <laughs> okay. Hold that, please. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to go ahead and wet the stopper mm -hmm. so it goes in easy. That's what she said. Unbelievable. Okay. Here we go. Uh, there. All right, let's so see, what do we got? there is a bubble there. Okay, so let's just take a quick look and see how that 10 tablespoons of, uh, of glue is going to look here. Yeah, not bad. It looks good. Not bad, yeah. Nice slow fall. Okay, so all right, so next step is to get that air bubble out. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll put this under water and get that bubble out. We're going to okay. let this sit for a few minutes because there's a lot of tiny yeah. little air bubbles that are kind of working their way up here. We're gonna let those all work their way up before we try to take this air bubble out and we'll be right back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this air bubble out of here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put it under the water here to uh, get it out. We're not gonna use the uh, syringe uh, on this one. You might see us use syringe in previous videos. Uh, this works better, especially if you have the globe out of the, uh, out of the base. So we're gonna make a space here. I'm gonna take this little screwdriver and I'm gonna work it into the into the globe. This is gonna go nicely with my yes. other lighthouse. Oh yeah, all the other lighthouses, right. So we're gonna go ahead and lower this into the water and then we'll get that air bubble to the top there and then we'll just pull back on the stopper and let the air bubble out. And uh, looks like we got it all. Mm -hmm. Okay, get that screwdriver out of there without pulling the stopper out. Let's see. No air bubble. No okay. air bubble. Let's dry that up and get this thing put together. This is dry. And as I said, uh, we decided not to use this uh, clip that was in there that, that holds the uh, number one. It uh, In this particular case, it didn't work for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, and number two, the uh, mechanism here is uh giving me a hard time where is it no it's giving me a hard time finding it yeah this thing <laughs> uh it looks like it might be uh there's some corrosion there mm. i'm gonna have to soak this in some uh, three-in-one oil and see if i can get that loose but it's not coming loose so we're gonna go ahead and just seal this up with hot glue yeah be done with see if that. it does yeah hopefully keep it from leaking again and then uh glue it back into the base here so let's go ahead and just seal this up first okay. Okay, so it looks like that's uh, pretty much sealed up. All right, so Allie, mm -hmm. let me get, let me switch with you. Sure. Did you, hmm? do we want this to dry first, or does it matter? It doesn't matter because once okay. we, once you put it in there, this is just be like a, a an, an extra, extra layer. This is an extra layer, yeah. Got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue around the opening of the base here. Good thing we don't have to worry about orientation. Yeah, exactly. There's no front or back to this, so put it whatever way you want. Just a bead of glue around the rim here, and then we'll press the globe in, and it should work just fine. Okay, Ali, go ahead. Oh. All right, good. And press it down, good. Make sure it's all the way in there. I did, I did, all right. I did. Okay. There we go. All right, let's put it up in the stand. And take a it look looks at good. it. All right. All right. It looks good. There she is. I like it. Looks good. Looks good. The snow's falling nicely. I got it all. It's falling slowly there. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. So uh, yeah, this worked out pretty well. Um, <clears throat> so uh, as you saw in the video, we had to use the uh, hot water to get this globe loose because the uh, hairdryer just wasn't getting through that wooden base to the uh, glue. Um, but 
Uh, the wooden base did survive. Mm -hmm. However, it's there's some slight discoloration. It's almost like there was like a varnish on it. Right. And the hot water kind of uh, made it a little bit cloudy. A little, uh, it's like a little bit of a haze to it. Uh, but what we're thinking of, we're gonna let this uh, dry completely and then see how it looks and maybe we'll just kind of uh, take some new varnish or something and, and go over it and just kind of freshen it up a little bit. But the wood itself is intact. Yeah. Uh, now, as far as inside the globe, um, once again, Ali, uh, Ali had me put the yes, uh, the 10 tablespoons of glue. Yes, I uh, did. Right, and so if you didn't see the lady in the flower uh, one that we did recently, uh, 10 tablespoons of glue is two and a half times more than what we normally use. We normally use four tablespoons in a four inch globe. We use 10. So uh, the effect, uh, and this snow is bigger snow than what we had in that other globe. That other globe, the snow hung for a long time, long but this, time this is the larger mm -hmm. uh, size snow and it doesn't hang quite as long with the same amount of glue, but it does make a big difference though, as you can yeah. see, it, it hangs there for a bit, then it drops. So. Yeah. Uh, so that's a lot of glue, but it makes a big difference. I, uh, yeah, I really like the difference that it makes. Yeah, if you like that, uh, if you like that really slow fall of the. Now we haven't used this uh, ten tablespoons of uh, glue with glitter, Not only yet. with snow. Not yet. But with the snow, it seems to work pretty well. So there you have it, uh, lighthouse in the snow. Oh, and Allie also made an observation here. Remember. It's snowing. Oh yeah, it's snowing, but the grass is green. They got green. What? They got nice green grass all over, but there's there's but snow. That's yeah, heavy so snow with some green grass. Uh yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, so good grass. Yeah. So uh, there you go, and uh, there's gonna be some links coming up to some of our other videos. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you in the next one, and uh, take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye.